Hey, 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 hello there guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with Return of Monkey Island Part 2. This is the speedrun of all speedruns. Mwahaha. Yes, we have to uh, complete the game from uh, start to end in less than two hours, in two hours or less. And to be honest, the time is rather generous. Um, if you follow along with the guide and you pretty much make no mistakes, you can get it done in around an hour and a half. Even with a couple of mistakes I made, I still got it done in less than an hour and 40. So... There is quite a few room for mistakes, but the main thing that I would highly, highly suggest is uh, manually save after, you know, after a couple of scenes or a couple of things that you do, I highly recommend manually saving it, just in case that you do mess up or some of the random puzzles and stuff you take, you think you may take a bit too long on, you can then reload it just before that. So that's what I do highly recommend, just manu keep manually saving after every literally every couple of minutes or so it may seem a bit over the top but trust me it may help in the end it definitely helped me a couple of times anyway um so obviously what we're going to do we're going to play on casual we're going to mash the b button to skip the dialogue of course as you remember left trigger or right trigger to move faster pausing the game does stop the timer so that does come to our advantage so you can put if if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed or whatever you can pause the game that does stop the timer and for most of all as we're going to start again on casual mode here like i said Choosing the last line of dialogue during most of the dialogues in the game, that is the one that you need to progress slash end the conversation faster. So, obviously you're going to see a lot of me just slamming through it, of course, it is a speedrun. Uh, but I will be choosing the majority, the last dialogue options. So, um, but that's all, that's all. A couple, couple of little things I had just had to tell you there. Otherwise, for now, we're going to spam the B button like hell, quickly as we can, so we can get through old... So we can get through old um, Jay Leno chin and muscly fat Peter Griffin right here. It's so. I wonder if it's. Sorry, boys. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, scurvy dog. Right then, boys and girls, are we ready? Are we ready? Let's do this! Right, use the left stick to walk there. Press the A button here to talk to Chucky, and then go into the scurvy dog shack. Uh, get the peg leg outhouse key. And again, I do highly recommend putting the subtitles on so you know where to move as well. I don't for the first half of the game for some reason. Um, of course, press the white button to go into inventory. Head back out, go to the left, and grab the outhouse key. Put it in the door. And then, of course, we're going to pick up the slug. Of course, the one that looks like a coin. Not looking at the toilet. Right, you don't want to see what's in there. There's all <laughs> there's all moldy wee and stuff on that. So straight back into the scurvy dog then. Go into your inventory. Of course, you should know all the buttons by now. And then um, give the vendor, all ball cheeks right here, the scurvy dog slug. Arr. Mate, it's not a chocolate calendar, okay? It's not an advent calendar. Not quite December just yet. Right. So, after we do this then, of course, um, you know, the, the two kids are going to eat the uh, diseased wieners. That's because that's exactly what they look like. And by the way, if your wiener looks like that, go to a doctor. There you go. Some nice advice. Right. As soon as we're done here, sprint to the right. And we're going to speak to old Dee Dee. The old stabby chin. Because her chin looks like the, the end of a butcher's knife or something. And then after this one's done, again, we're going to spam through. Like I said, put the subtitles on so you know when you've got to go. Um, so <laughs> it did take me half the way. Otherwise, we can just literally sprint straight to the end. We don't have to worry about doing anything. So, sprint, my beloved. Sprint all the way to the gate. And go ahead and speak to Mr. Threepwood. Old Papa. Old Captain America. No, I don't think I will. And we were playing. Big look. I like it when you guys always. It's fun. But you can't just. A lot of your. What do you mean? Well, like. Oh, that story has. But you never did. Sure, but kids. Is this? I think. Yeah. Maybe I- No, no. See, I knew I-
blasted copyright had me last time for that. That's why there was no music just then, by the way. So, again, obviously, we're going to spam through the dialogue. And like I said, for the most, for the majority of these dialogue conversations, we're just going to go ahead and pick the bottom option. Every time, um, until obviously I tell you which one to pick. So this one, I mounted my own voyage. Nah. Right, so once that is done, thank you very much. We're obviously going to head down to the docks. Where is she? Yeah, thanks, uh, messed up Santa Claus. So we're going to head down to the docks. Go, of course, to the right and go straight into the scum bar. <coughs> Excuse me, scum bar. And then we're going to talk immediately to the three new pirate leaders here on the right. Um, so for this one, you can pretty much just spam the A button on all the um, uh, top dialogue or bot dialogue. Doesn't make too much of a difference here, but just get through it as quickly as you can. I've got her on it. Understand. Then the others. Look, they were want me to slot them. I'm going to find your wish. The secret. It's a person. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could you at least? You don't even have it. Yo. Up a crew. If you don't take Litcha. Yes, he's here in melee. If that doesn't. Great. Excellent. <laughs> Why would have thought? Well, this. <laughs> 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 Fine. I don't need you. I can do this. And of course, with a lump in his throat and a tear in his eye, Guybrush goes, I'll do it myself. Right, so head to the left onto the pier and talk to Iron Rose. And of course, we're going to say that we are a swabby, so it's going to be the top dialogue option. Don't look at us up and down. Absolutely. Put your eyes in the back of your head. So top option there, swabby, and then top option... Uh, to say Guybrush Threepwood. There we go. We're on the blacklist, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we already know, okay? It's a great drawing, by the way. Right, return back to the right to go back to the scum bar after we have the conversation with old dearest sunbag. Oh, there we go. We're done. So, head back to the right. Okay, well, if you two could hurry the hell up. we got places to be. Come in. Right, so in we go then. Into the back of the scum bar. Go all the way to the right, of course, into the kitchen. And we're going to talk with um, Old Man Bear Pig, the cook. And we're going to choose just the top option every time. The main important one is the mop-related dialogue, which will be the top option. Do you know where I can buy mop? And then he goes into his whole making love to a mop routine, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. An elegant... You cannot hope to... S I can't? You must... Well, let's... Once you... And a... Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood... You... Not... You must carve... You then for the next dialogue, we can just go to the bottom one and say, Nope, I'm good. You can make love to your mop all you want. I ain't up for watching that. Um, unless you're going to pay me, I'll, yeah, I'll put a mop anywhere I want. Right, so, on to the right. Grab the untangled string item. There we go. And now we're going to head left. Well, we're going to get out of here. So head all the way out. And now we're going to go to the right and go up to Low Street. And we are basically just going to uh, finish talking to uh, Elaine as quickly as you can. For this one, I just choose uh, how I'm. Guess how I'm go. Oh, you won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island, and then we're just gonna say goodbye. I love you, but goodbye. So with that one's done, we're now going to go into the real voodoo shop, the International House of Going Out of Business, to the right, and then we're just going to exhaust again the dialogue with the voodoo lady. So again, it's pretty much just going to be the bottom option uh, every time. So as soon as we can, it'll be a case of. A good bear. The way serpent. Ooh. You might. And now I'm going back. When you are. It can tell me. In a way. What is it? A book. Use it. Matey, matey, you don't need hints when I'm about, girl. Right, have a look at the disguises for a little bit of conversation, and then we're going to pick up the. Knife and the Forgiveness Frog from the sort of forefront of the screen right there. So make sure to pick up both of those items. Remember, we both need the Frog, Budweiser, and the Knife. Um, Knife Wiser. Yeah, well, close enough. So when we get those two, we can now head out and then go all the way to the Governor's Mansion. Oh, the product is Whitley. Uh huh. Use with product is at all the manufacturer. Oh, is this where? Yes. Yes. Is there a. I am not. Thank you for that exhausted, long dialogue there, old Voo lady. So, head all the way le left, of course, now. 
oh, after the um, <laughs> after the very annoyingly unskippable cutscene. Apparently on PC there are a couple of cutscenes that you can skip by pressing the escape button, which always comes in handy to make it a little bit quicker. Sadly on Xbox that is not possible, which is not annoying in the slightest, of course. Eh, eh, eh. Right, now we can finally start going all the way to the left. So, head up then to the Governor's Mansion, and again, what we're going to do is just exhaust all of Carla's dialogue options. So, pretty much, it's just going to... It's just going to be, um... Uh, I, I think you can literally pick whatever option you want until we can say, I should let you get back to governing. Guy, bro. Hello. Prepared. Anything but. <laughs> it's nice to see you too. You should never have. Who says I did? Oh, it's... it is. I heard from. She's coming. I assume. Eileen can. I don't doubt. If it isn't. I'm looking good for you. So it's going to be this next dialogue option then. I should let you get back to governing. So we'll just do that quick as you can. Right. What we're going to do is go to the bookshelf. We're going to read the middle uh, middle row, middle book there, the Barbie Le Flay, and then press the X button, of course, to borrow it. More angry stuff is going to... Uh, we're going to say I'm sorry anyway. After Billy being stabbed. And of course, because it's casual, what we can do this time is just give Carla the frog straight away. So go into your inventory, give Carla the frog. We don't have to do the whole penning an item, the penning an apology frog letter thing. But again, that's how easy it is. So if you piss somebody off, just give them a frog and they will forgive you. That's, uh, that's life as it is. Now we can press the X button on the book again to borrow it anyway. And instead of just saying, yes, she, we have to have a sword fight, apparently. We just have to. Right, so when that's good... We'll grab that. Now we're going to head all the way back to the scum bar. So what we can do is just head up right here. And then go all the way down in uh, close to our ship. So we can go back to the docks. Uh, just saves probably a couple of seconds or so. So head back into the scum bar. And head into the kitchen of course. And we are going to get the ingredients book. And give that to Man Bear Pig Chef. And he's going to be like. Oh thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks, yeah. <laughs> And then we can grab the knife and make sure to use that with the mop handle as well. It's very important, of course. So we've got a little bit of mop. Right, head out of the scum umba. And this time we're going to go to Low Street and go to Wally's Map and More Shop. Uh, go away, parrot. So, head to the right. Left. And go into Wally's Map. And we're going to give him the wooden scrap that we got from the cook's mopperoni. I <laughs> yeah. You're lucky. Bye. Wally, here's a... Sure. Lovely stuff. Cheers, Wally. Right, soon as you're done, we're going to grab the two monocles here as well. So press the A button and then the X button to grab the first monocle. And then press the X button again to take another monocle. And then what we'll do while we're here, we'll just go into our inventory and combine them both. So combine both of the monocles. There we go. And now we can head back out. Now what we're going to do is head up. Basically, go all the way to the left. We're going to head into the forest now. Now, on hardcore mode, there was a bit more thinking to this puzzle, but this one is actually not. So, head to the forest. And what you're going to do, all you're going to do this time is follow the black line. So, I've, I'm basically, if I get the map out, I'm basically starting on the so-called second island there. So, you're just following the black lines this time. So, from the second island that we were on, we go right, right, up, left, left, left. So again, you're literally following the black lines this time. Um, so yeah, that, so that's all. It's, it's very easy. Um, I ended up, I did mess up a couple of times. But again, like I said, as we grab the uh, knife and just hack off a bit of tree right there. But that's why I said it's very important to sort of manually save every couple of minutes or even every couple of scenes. Just in case you do end up missing, uh, messing up a few times and you think that it took too long to do one particular thing or whatever. Then you could just reload the save and go again. But again, like I said, that particular puzzle... You're literally just following the black lines. Job dead. <laughs> so 
So, nothing left to do here apart from leave all the animals cry because you've just destroyed their home and head back down. So, immediately we're going to go to the right and we're going to go into the museum of pirate lore. And again, just smash the dialogue here with old Conrad Chad Virgin lad. And we're going to get our monocles out and uh, interact that with the tiny numbers here on the uh, uh, bleh, 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 on the case. So you've got the serial number. So what we're going to do is head straight back out. Go all the way to the left. And we're going to go to Lockie Smith. So she'll be in the high street, of course. So head to the left there and go into the Lockie's, the Locksmith Lockie Smith. So immediately we'll just give her the... Immediately, sorry. Immediately, we'll give her the serial number. She's obviously going to give us the display case key, and then this time, what we're also going to do as well as as well is grab the crackers right underneath old parrot butt right there. So make sure to grab the crackers as well on your way out. So you should have the crackers on the key. That's cracking, mate. So we're going to head out, and we're going to go back to the museum now of pirate law. So nice, nice stroll apparently for Guybrush. Come on, mate. We're on a speed run right now. So back to the museum. Again, thank God we don't have to worry about bloody trivia cards this time. Uh, feed the crackers to the parrot. And then use the display case key on the display case. And grab the eye patch. There we go. That's job done. So we're almost done now with chapter one already. In less than 20 minutes. That's nice. But oh, cutscenes. <laughs> Isn't that nice? What? Of course not. People around. But we can. Well, it's a start. Agreed. I've come on coffee. So when L cutscene is finally over, what we can do now is just go to the International House of Going Out of Business in Low Street. So there it is, the Going Out of Business International House. And we're just going to go ahead and immediately give the eye patch to the voodoo lady and she will give us the enchanted eye patch. Ah. As I sit. Oh. Death? It's not John. Hey. Take. Well, you don't have to put it. That's it? Unless you. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm not a sucker. Maybe. Well. the heck John Lee you failed it's not as I'll just work and that of course turns us into old man Jenkins yeah right so after this then we can finally finish up the first chapter here what we're gonna do is head back to Le Charles Chuck's uh, pier there it is uh, put on the eye patch to turn into old man Jenkins combine the string with the mop handle there we go and then just go ahead go to the left give the mop to iron fist iron balls iron rose and that will end the first chapter. So that's not bad. Around 20 minutes in, you should be getting that done. Three points from the bar. So what? You don't think. I hate. Don't what? Yeah? I've got. Name Capital One, and this is the. I thought we'd all of it. You work. Forget the world, the hull. Right, so here we are then, part two with um, uh, my favourite character, to be honest, in the game so far. Can I leave the hole? I only say can I leave the hole just because of his uh, reaction. Otherwise, we can say what am I supposed to be doing exactly? Right, so of course we don't have to mess around with greasing up the floor and stuff this time. You missed the spot. <laughs> funny, funny. Anyway, what we're going to do then is grab the pamphlet immediately. Then, so we'll take that one. We're going to take the ghost chicken feed on the left. I wonder what it's made out of. And we're going to feed the chicken on the right. So the sort of top right hand corner, not the one with the egg uh, smashed in its Thanks, gut. Chicken. Chicken. chicken, chicken's boning. Oh, that's a, that's a weird one. When they're supposed to be tastier in my oven. Um, just joking. Right, so grab the mop. We're going to swab the grease and use the mop with the grease on the portal three times. So we have to do this three times um, in order to escape. You missed a spot. On. 
You missed. Is that your catchphrase or something? So once that's done, give the mop back or put the mop back and we can squeeze our little butt snatch square through the portal, the old ship hole. Right, go to the right of the screen, climb up to the uh, upper deck and go to the middle of the ship there to trigger the conversation again. Ah, <laughs> the map! No! Now! Let's have... Wait, there's a... You don't remember to get to monkey... Okay. The potion is we blend along with all that's X! You there! Me? Hmm. You. Do you ever... <laughs> well, go a... any... So after a couple of bottom-ended dialogues right there, now we can begin this chapter. Well, now we can crack on with it, can't we? So, head into the lower hold. There we go. And now we're going to go to the left to get caught by old Gullet Gullet with a knife sticking out of his back. And we get straight through. So press the X button to find out what is in the crate. Marie? Um, we can just um, choose the first couple of dialogue options. That's fine. And then eventually we'll just press the A button a couple of times to pick up Murray against his will. So we'll press the A button once. And then we'll take it again. There we go. So now we can go through the window again. Of course. So escape through. And then we're going to head to the right and go back up to the upper deck. Of course, the way New Zealanders say deck is... My most ultimate favorite thing of all time. So uh, we're going to go into the ship, back into the lower hold. And then we're going to use Murray with the washing machine. Right next to Le Shuck's cabin. So, you know, the one right at the forefront of the screen. So flatten the crap out of the skull. And then we can go back on the deck. <laughs> ah, New Zealand's the best. I would advise... Uh, Sorry to flatten you, mate, but we've got places to go. Straight up to the upper deck, then. Use Flatten Murray with the cauldron. And then go, uh, well, after this little bit of conversation is done, we're going to go up to the crow's nest, look the spyglass, and discover Madison's ship. Yeah. Why are you out of it? You're not reverse your mind also. I... Oh. <sighs> A promotion. This'll be start me. I'll be in. Redo the post. No, we barely. Let's tip. You don't know, let's chop. Is this one? No. But you told. Oh, I did. There was an important. Pe oh, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Right. So head to the right, up to the crow's nest, up the ladder here at the back of the ship. There it is. And then once again, have a look at the spyglass and just um, have a look to the right to find Madison's ship. And again, any dialogue option here, you can just use the bottom dialogue option just to crack on. Wait, never mind. That... Mint? Squid it. Hey, I know. They didn't come... Okay. Let's... I feel vindic... They could always... Why aren't they a well-placed... Aha! They're missing... I've got an idea. What? Make ready to s- like Here is my actual favorite character in the whole game, by the way, Flambe, just because he's very, uh, yeah, he's all of us, isn't he? Lazy and looking good. So, go to Wayne Rose now, tell her how, our idea about reaching Monkey Island. And then after this, we are going to talk to her just once more. So I'm going to help them. All I need to make ready to s- No. We don't even want- Go, let's get- Let's lock- Whoa! Why? It was, but that was strict. There's nothing. A secret. Mm -hmm. so, let's check. I think you're. Ma let's put voting. Is Fair enough. The matter before vote now. Nay. 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 <clears throat> ah. The vote to go. Meeting a jet. What? It means I had. Wow. So once that is done, like I said, we're going to talk to Ian Rose once again, and this time we're just going to keep choosing the top option. So just keep spamming the A button just to get through it. I could do you a favor, blah, blah, blah. And then the next top option. 
And then the next top option. And then after this, we will be able to give her the pamphlet to get her vote. So now we can go into her inventory, give her the pamphlet, and she will change her vote for us deliciously. Right. To you too. So after this bit is done, we can go to the front of the ship. So climb down the ladder. And we're going to go all the way to the left until we reach the rudder. Of course, so we're going to he start heading down into the dangerous city of the water. Until we find uh, our old pal Gullet with a knife in his back. But that's exactly what we've come here for. So, we're not going to talk to him. We are just going to like grab the knife, press the A button on the knife, and then the X button, of course. Clown. So, but you cologne. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, funny. So, climb back up. And we're going to climb, we're going to go through the porthole and climb up towards the lower deck. The ship's hold. Lower deck. Home, home sweet home. So you've got the knife, so now we can go up to the lower deck. Immediately, we don't even have to speak to Flair this time. We can just go ahead and give her the knife. So go ahead, give Flair the knife. And that will basically sway her vote, so that's nice and quick. My yeah, you're my grandmother too. So, what we're going to do is go into the kitchen here onto the left, or the ship's galley, as it were. We're going to talk to Putra, and we're just going to ask her all the chef-related dialogue. So, how come people don't call you chef? And also, you need to say about the Monkey Island vote as well, uh, but you can do that later as well if you want. Uh, so, once we've done that, now we can say, how come people don't call you chef? And then, so a chef outranks a cook, second option. And then, have you tried to get a promotion? The third dialogue option there. And she's going to slam the promotion papers on the table for us. There we go. And now we can say, I'll get, let you get back to cooking and press the X button here on the papers to go ahead and pick them up. Uh, so, we can't actually go ahead and do that yet. So, what we do is go to the uh, right. We're going to go to the right into Le Chuck Le Chuck's cabin. We're going to speak to him once, and then afterwards, we're going to go back in, speak to him again. So you can just say Swabby is fine, or wh whatever it is that you want. Doesn't make a difference. Uh, but you're just going to smash through the dialogue. He's going to kick us out. We're going to go back in. Speak to Charles Shack again. And then we can just choose the bottom option to say nothing, never mind. And now he's going to give us the papers in order to do the whole Swabby checklist report thing. Because apparently, paper CEOs love paperwork. And making a mockery out of the uh, small worker. Right, so we're going to examine this first rat here. Again, we don't need eight things, of course. We don't need to mess around with that. So go into the kitchen next, or the ship's galley, after you've done the rat. Uh, just interact the uh, swabby report here with the ba uh, bucket. You can do it with anything in the kitchen, by the way. <clears throat> head to the right, head back down into the hold. And we're going to use the swabby report on the chicken poop and the greased ship hole. Well, if you've got a greasy ship hole, you better wipe thoroughly. Uh, no, the um, greased porthole, of course. So the chicken poop and the uh, greasy ship hole, porthole. And now we can just go back up to the up upper deck. Doesn't matter which way you go. Um, I think they pretty much take the same time. So we can go out of the greasy ship hole. <laughs> and we can just head up. And for the final swabby report there, we're just going to use it with the red stuff that's directly in front of the iron balls. Uh, Iron Balls Cauldron. So that'll be all five. So when you've done that, we can give the completed first Swabby's report to Iron Rose. And after that, she's going to give us some more paper. Or paperwork. And then finally, what we can do is combine both the paper with Putra's uh, chef promotion paper thing. So let me go straight up to the crow's nest here. We're going to talk to Flambe. We're going to ask him about his favorite food. So we're going to get this out of the way just to get it uh, all done at once, rather than going back and forth all the time. So talk about the mon vote to Monkey Island, and then say, do you have a favorite food? And of course we know, Scorched Alaska makes my butthole bleed, as it were. So keep up the bad work, and now we can head back down. Right, go back into Le Charles Chuck's cabin, and we're going to give him the combined paperwork. So make sure that it, the paperwork is both combined. Shouldn't he be... Shut in your mouth. Uh, so after this then, we've he's uh, popped all those down. We're all good. So now we can head left out of here. Go into the ship's galley. And give Putra the stamped request promotion paper. So there we go. Now she's going to be like, ah, yeah, thank you very much, smooth skin. So give her the promotional paper. She's going to be obviously delighted. Aren't we all? 
<laughs> the pay comes with extra nothing, but the CEO gets all your money. Job done. So now we can ask her to make the scorched Alaska. So it will be the second option, and that's what she's going to do. She's going to smoke us up some scorched butthole bleeding Alaska. Some shit. One stinks. And thank you, of course, for the extra dandruff as well. So make sure to pick up the Scorched Alaska. And we're going to go to the... Uh, straight away, go to the Crow's Nest. So straight up, go to the Crow's Nest here, the ladder just behind. And we are going to give Flamborini the Scorched alaska Roni. And there we go. That's why his head's constantly on fire, by the way. A couple of these. His, uh, well, his ass don't work like it used to before. Because it all got burned. That's why it's on his head. So after that, um, we can now ask to borrow the book there with the X button. And drop back down. So now we're going to uh, stay here on the upper deck. We're going to give the book that we just got to Apple Bob. And we are almost done now with chapter two. So after that one, we're going to go up the back. <laughs> up the back. All right. And we're going to ring the bell twice. So make sure here to ring the bell twice. That will get Charles Shack out of his office. So when he's yelling and going nuts, blah, 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 blah. blah. We can now go into his cabin. And of course, we're going to use the mop map and switch that with the map on the desk to swap them around. So get the, uh, should be your third in your inventory. So mop tree, swap that with the map on his desk. That's all good. We can go back. In conclusion, blah, blah, blah. But my beard is fantastic. Right, so go back up and ring the bell one more time to get everyone's vote in. One bell, voting hour. The mating is cool. Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island. Aye, aye, aye. 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 Six and five. I hope everybody. Yes. Now, me swabbies, there's only one thing left to do. I like money. Uh, nope, we're going to put Flat and Murray into the cannon, press the X button here on it. Okay, and okay. that's okay. it for this. So all we're going to do is use the last couple of lines of dialogue with Charles Chuck. Doesn't matter which ones you pick for the last ones. And then we're on to part three. She's underway. We're nearly there, Captain Madison. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Extra grog. Yeah. Hey. All right. <laughs> Great one. Oops. I did not see that coming. I want. I'm going to. You do. <laughs> Okay. Why don't you? You're all well. You're black. Mm. Mm. Also, I'm pretty. You. I can't decide. Hey. Oh, then. Either way. That's what I thought. I can't. Either way. Too late to pay. You will. Uh. Uh. Now, that ain't no good. We got our ass kicked again. So, immediately when we start then, we can just go ahead and continue off to the right. Just to go to Monkey Island, of course, as quickly as we can. So, roughly about now, you should be, you know, 35 to 40 minutes. You should be on part three. That's what you should be looking at, potentially. So, as long as you're, uh, if you think you're roughly on there, then we should be good to go. Otherwise, we can just keep heading to the right. Get to Monkey Island. And it, honestly, from the first part, it may seem like there is an absolute ton to do, but it's actually not. <laughs> it's just because there was loads of random collectibles and achievements to get. Uh, but it's really not a lot to do. So, from here then, again, span through the dialogue, of course. Head all the way to the left first to pick up the potentially Murray skull, which is not actually Murray himself. But pick up the skull, head up, and then go to the red berry bush. 
And from here, then, what you're going to do is go right. And then up. And then, of course, where it says secret. Fantastically spelled secret. And, of course, for any dialogue option here, you can, get, once again, just keep pressing the bottom dialogue option to continue as fast as possible. <laughs> That's not. I'm a little kid. This clown wants. Wait. Maybe I can help. Do you know? Why on earth? Ugh, this. We wouldn't. Don't start with me, like Remember. That's a place. I can. Re as part of. He's here on the island. Ugh, and now we're out of room. We could ask his crew about all that stuff? We thought only the ch I'm not sure. I mean, I d You can get- Probably. I mean, get- Fine. Here's the deep. That's the- uh I accept. No way! Well, they were playing- My only op- Double cross that- Dad. I'd get them what- Cool! Remember, <laughs> we're come- Actually- So, follow these scumbaggeries to where they went, right up. And what you're gonna do is hit, grab the skull here on the right. And then just on the fence, you can see some daisies which we need to pick up as well. So make sure to pick up the skull and the daisies right here. Then we're going to speak to our partners and just say the second option there. I'm worried um, I'm going to be seen, blah, blah, blah. And Big Maddie Caddy Paddy will eventually get us something. But we're going to go to the left and we're going to go all the way down to the, uh, basically to the volcano beach right there. So head to the volcano beach, take this skull on the left of the shore. And then interact with Charlotte Shuck's ship again. And that is obviously going to get us going underwater. So there, there it is. <laughs> right, so what you're going to do then is now head all the way left. So past the anchor. Don't climb up the anchor just yet. We need to go left of the anchor to grab yet another skull. There it is. So once you grab that, now we can head up the anchor. Again, sadly, it's another unskippable part. But, you know, such is life. And we'll have got plenty of time. Top job, guys. Right, head all the way to the left then. Obviously, we're just heading to the rudder, so heading back down. What we're going to do this time is help Gullet complete his poem. And the, uh, what we're going to do that, again, you can just uh, choose the top options if you want. Uh, so for this time, we are. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? And then is it a diary? So again, top option, top option. And maybe I could help you with the option. So this time, you can literally just go. So we're going to choose germs. I end up choosing roses, but I think you could just choose the top option all the way through. So I choose germs, roses, and snack. There we go. So again, it's pretty much top option all the way through. That's all good. And then what you can do is talk to him again. And this time we can just ask him to give us the poet book, which he duly obliges. So again, top option there. Job done. Right. We're going to leave Charlotte Shuck's ship. And we're just basically going to go back onto the map and go up the flat cliff and take the next skull. So heading down, heading down, heading downtown, brown town, brown town. Right, so head to the right there. And eventually, in in incredible that uh, Guy Brush can hold his breath for so long. Right, so go to the flat sort of mountain top right there, up to see the view. There is going to be the next skull here, so make sure to pick oh, this one up. Just a sea salt and this time we're going to go to the beach it. with the shipwreck, which will be just by the giant head monkey statue right there. Or Monkey Island or whatever. Uh, but pick up the next statue. And now we can go back to the giant monkey head. And we're going to give Madison's crew Gullet's poem book to transform that into L Disguise book. Gullet was keeping... Can you use it to make a disguise? Like chomping, I can see... Use the first. Fantastic. Keep us looped. Yep, we'll do. 
Right, so once we're done with that, then we can now return. We can go back to Le Charles Shack's ship uh, after another cutscene. Ha <laughs> ha! Great. This cat isn't that a not. That's not somewhat. Body. <laughs> Wally. Right, so heading back to Le Charles Le Chuck's, uh ship. Now we can just go into our inventory, press the X button on the poem to recite that, and we can just immediately head straight up the steps. Again, you're going to have a little conversation with Flair. I don't think it matters too much what um, dialogue options you pick. You can literally pick whatever you want. So again, I just choose the top one twice just because, you know, I don't think it makes a difference. So we we's all good. Right, so from here, we're going to go into LeChuck's cabin. So obviously all the way to the uh, right into LeChuck's cabin and grab the diary on the top right hand corner right there. Right, so after that we can head back out of here, go to the left where Flair was standing and grab the sheet music. It's on the wooden barrel here. And now we can go to the ship's galley. So head to the left, of course, go to Putra. And when we start speaking to her, we're going to need to find out LeChuck's favorite dish. So I'll have whatever LeChuck's having. Bottom option, you cook a fish full of shuck. And then she's obviously going to say, we don't have any daisy smooth skin. Uh. And of course we do have daisies. So go into your inventory and give her the daisies. Nice. They have it for you. Bon appetit. That's it. And so once that is all good, delishimundo, mother flippando, right, we can pick up the daisies with tentacle sauce, and now we're going to go all the way back to the giant monkey head to Madison's crew. And this is where we're basically going to sort of start ending this chapter now as well. Uh, obviously, we've got a couple of things to do in terms of impaling the six skulls on and things like that, but we are coming up to the end and onto the long chapter four. So straight out of here, go back to the giant monkey head. And if you go to the right of where Madison's Patterson's crew poo is, get out of it. We're going to have a little chat with Murray, and then of course what we need to do is just impale all six skulls on. Again, it doesn't matter the order of the skulls. Um, it doesn't matter the order of the skulls. Uh, obviously, we just need to we need to grab the bone arm, bong them all at least once, so the actual option of what we can see actually comes up in terms of like, do, re, ma, fa, sa, la, to, di, do. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, so we're all good. Now what we're going to do after this one is go into LeChuck's diary, go to February the 17th, and again, it's going to be random every time for you. So for me, it's Shiver the Seven Bilges, but um, just uh, keep an idea of what it is for you in your head. Either write it down or something, job done. Uh, right, so now we can chat with, uh, and say the top option there, chat with Madison's crew, I know all of LeChuck's secrets. So what, of course, what we have to do then is um, basically just bonk each... Skull. So for me, it's Dudo my alfalfa re. I don't know if that's randomised. Um, I'm pretty sure it might be the same, the same every time. But don't quote me on that. Uh, but again, if you do get stuck, remember you can just um, have uh, just have a look and go again. But you do need to bonk each skull so it actually appears at the bottom there. So again, you can either write it all down so you can do it all in one, or just keep having a look at your map. Um, otherwise, just well, yeah, just smash them, smash them all square in the nuggets, and then we can crack on. Hopefully, as well, you've remembered the shucks. Um, again, that I'm pretty sure that is randomised. So just after we do this one, right there we go. Yo ho ho, give me rum, give me a bum. That, I'm just joking. Right, so again, obviously, for me, it was Shiver, uh, Sh Shiver the Seven Bilges. So hopefully you've remembered exactly what yours is. So of course, Shiver the Seven Bilges, it was for me. And then after this, uh, we're just going to say okay to eat his tentacle. Damn, that's some uh, hardcore... <laughs> Somebody's just got excited somewhere. Did I hear tentacle porn? No, 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 no. We're just eating tentacles on, on a game, okay? That, that's all. Don't get excited. Don't get your furry little balls in a twist. 
work. Where the map got to? Not your con thing. And all we're going to do then for the uh, for the next set of dialogue options is just, is just keep picking the bottom option. Strike me. Noted. Oh. And now, good riddance to Murray. Wait. Good. Trent. Odd. Never mind. It came. What the? So, I owe. Speaking. And then. <laughs> I did soon. Captain Lich, it's Captain. Leave. They must. If we. Oh, oh I think. Hello? Guybrush! Oh no! Still. If I had. What are you doing? How did you even. You used a p. But let's not get. Uh, nothing but. I keep losing. I got thrown off. I got caught. And I had a. You didn't. Might as well. I've got a back. Come back with. Uh, if. Well, don't. What difference? Well, it makes a difference. Yeah. Here come one. Hello? Murray! That melon head. Oh, the secret is a Well, like a miracle, we're back up and running again. So, broken back? No, not when we've got the map. Right, so again, after you've picked up all of this, what we need to do here is just uh, pick up the repair ship. Uh, the repair ship manual and pick up Murray. Elaine, why are you so thoughtful, you beautiful little bosom, you? Pick up Murray, pick up the repair ship manual, and of course, when we go left, we're going to head to where Elaine's gone, to the shipwreck, get the repair ship manual up. And then use that with the shipwreck. And now we can get into the longer part four. So, as you can see then, I'm roughly at about, well, I'm 49 to 50 minutes here with the first three complete. Um, as, as long as you're sort of roughly, as long as you're just under an hour, i say you should still be absolutely, you know, nailed on to still get the speedrun achievement. Um, so hopefully, like I said, you're st with your time, you should be on under an hour at the very least. Huh. Oh my. I've got to go and talk to Carla. You're not coming to- well, Of course I will, but this is what I wanted. Right. Right. Yeah. right, now we've got no time to uh, mess around. So let's grab the cookbook here, press the A button, uh, any dialogue option, and then the X button to take the cookbook back. So what we're going to do is head to the right. We're going to go to the International House of going out of business soon. Impressed my crew. I'm still. We don't have. I. His eye. Animal. So it's agreed. Agreed. Teammates. So after that long cutscene is evidently done. So now we can go for the uh, going out of business shop. Am I too late? And we're just going to confront the voodoo lady and basically again just choose the bottom option every time. You've had it. I pose. Don't play. I have them. What? It's in that big. Yes. I might have there we go and then when we get outside we're going to speak to Wiley Boner Wiley Boner to learn about the five golden keys but again I just kept choosing the bottom option every single time apart from this one five why is this do you know secrets uh-huh where can I oh Scott one also that's only one more hang on 
doesn't sound so lot of also oh see you around why oh no. there the key beware whoa no i mean yes yeah. why do you like Right, okay, so when that's done, we can now go to the left, go into Wally's maps and more, and ask for a sea map in order to be able to go to different islands and stuff. So, top option it will be for Wally's maps and more. Ah, oh, thank you very much, you dirty git. Why do you wash your hands for a change? Now I've got, a, I've got the ick on me. Which I suppose I've had worse on my fingers. Uh, right, so, we're going to go to the jail in High Street now. So go to the jail, we go into uh, Hamas, I'm so sorry. We're going to talk to Otis and basically find out where Stan is. So choose the top option basically twice, um, and he's going to tell us where Stan is. And obviously we're going to find out that he is located in the ice quarry on Bermuda Island. So after you've done that then, we can go out of here, go to the left, go up to the governor's mansion. Uh, we're going to give Carla her cookbook back, which is going to be ever so grateful and delighted. She's going to give us no money for it. You such a Anyway. So you don't actually have to talk to Carla this time. You can just get, grab the book, put it straight back on the book shelf. Um, talking to Carla just wastes precious second. And then we're going to borrow the top left corner of the Endless Tale of the Voyage That Would Not End. That is the book that we need to borrow. It's in the top left hand corner. Once that's done, we can get out of here and go to the shipyard now. So, head of the shipyard, which is basically be in the bottom right-hand corner. We're going to take the picture of Stan. So, you can pick up his toothbrush if you want, but it makes no difference for this playthrough, as long as you've got the picture from his shop. Next, we're going to go to the lookout, where we started the first chapter, and grab the firewood. Again, very important. We need to pick, uh, pick up the firewood. Now, we can go straight to the ship now. Now, what you can do is actually press the select button, and that will take you immediately to this map. Um, which I didn't realize until about halfway through chapter 4, but hit the scurvy island anyway. Um, but yeah, that was, um, I kept going onto the map and wasting precious seconds. But yeah, if you press the select button, or what was formerly known as the select button, um, it takes you immediately to the map without having to mess around. So that is, uh, that's a, that's a couple of sh second shaver right there. Stop it, clearly. Where's someone? The only, the map, I'm thinking... And once the scumbaggeries have stopped talking, basically the Tory party, um, <laughs> Matt Hancock, douchebag. Right, so what we're going to do is head all the way up into basically Elaine's camp when we get here. We're going to take the picture frame with Elaine's picture on it. There it is. And the note from the table as well. Now, this is where I actually turn the subtitles back on because, again, this is randomized. So I highly advise to make a manual save here. Have a look at the note because she will tell you where she is. And um, just go around and have a look wherever the hell she is. Um, it took me a couple of minutes to actually find her. For me, she was literally right at the very bottom. So again, make a manual save before doing this. When you find her, reload your save and just go to the same point. Um, so when you do eventually find her and you haven't messed around like I did and uh, got, got a bunch of minutes, uh, lose a bit of minutes, we can read the note, go to her location, and then we're going to ask her about the project to receive a scurvy flyer. So you have to ask her about her project in order to receive that scurvy flyer. And now we can just say, I'm not sure what to tell you. Basically all the bottom dialogue options to get the hell on out of here. Make sure to grab a couple of limes as well. Very important here. And after this, we can go into the top right corner of the map where the uh, bird's nest is located and go ahead and grab the uh, picture of Guybrush from the nest. Of course, there's no bird, so there's no bird puzzle this time, luckily. So go into the picture frame. And then what you're going to do is combine the picture of Stan with Guybrush. Now, Guybrush has to be on the right with his smoochy, smoochy face and Stan with his incredible chin on the left. So now we can open up the sea map. So again, just go ahead and press the select button rather than doing what I'm doing right now to go straight into the sea map. And go to Bermuda Island, the old Cardi B Island, huh? For some reason, Cardi B sounds like a bird in every song she sings or something. Right, so after this little bit then, obviously he's going to give us the lime stamp of approval, which is nice. Uh, but when we just... Again, Guybrush 3 word. And again, for the checklist here, we're just going to choose the bottom checklist. You don't have to worry about anything else. Press the A button on the sign here as well. And we'll automatically be good to get to Cardi B Bermuda Island. Okay, you may proceed. So once we have sailed up to Bermuda Island, what we're going to do, uh, go back on the map. We need to go to the uh, ice quarry. So the uh, little prison bit in the bottom right-hand corner, there it is, the bottom corner. 
So we're gonna talk to the guard. We're gonna tell him that we're doing a social call. So I, I choose the top option by accident there. We need to say that it is a social call. And then say Stan. And he's gonna obviously ask, um, ask him to give us some proof. So we need to show the guard the picture frame with the picture of Stan and Guybrush, which of course is not edited in any way whatsoever. We are deeply in love. His chin, his chin and my ass, well, they have a whale of a time, apparently. Because that guy's chin is bigger than a big girthy thing. So, now we can enter the ice quarry anyway. And of course, if you re you should remember where Stan is, all the way in the right hand corner, like I said. Now again, hopefully we've already gotten this this far into the game, that we are making plenty of manual saves, etc, etc. So, uh, just choose the bot keep choosing the bottom option after we've uh, spoke to him. And eventually what he's going to do is give us the ju judicial order. So again, just um, how about I bust you out of here? You need to say that one, so I need to bust you out of here. And that is really how we get the ju judicial order. Now we can poke around a little. Next, we're going to give Stan the scurvy flyer that we got from Elaine. So uh, make sure to give that to him so we should have the judicial order and I've given him the scurvy flyer. And then after this one, what we're going to do is use the two monocles on Stan's ankles to receive a serial number code. So, mate, your arms, they've got to be tired by now. Bloody hell, that's a lot of... Yeah. Now, finally, we can use the two monocles on him. There we go, magnify the crap out of them. And to make life a little easier for ourselves, we're going to use the small tunnel on the left of Stan like here to uh, get out. It's a secret exit we can get out of the ice quarry. Next up, we're going to go to the top of the ice castle. So we can just go up to the map, go to the ice castle here on the left, and enter the Queen's throne room. So we're going to head all the way up. Man, the snow is making me cold, and it is. It, this is proper, you know, shrinkle dinkle weather, especially in the UK. Freezer, my little tiny little piaubs off, yeah. Right, so once we get here, we make sure to grab the matches, which is just to the left of the big well, fire. So it'll be between the wood and the fire there, so make sure to grab the matches, of course. These matches are specially and then, of course, we need to speak to the queen. Disclaimer. We need to find out well, how to get her golden key, and of course, that is by beating her in three challenges. So you need to say, Your, uh, your Majesty. Elaine, um, I accidentally picked the bottom option, but you need to choose, um, on this next part, we actually need to choose the top option, naturally, uh, you'll want to have that cleaned, or the second option, um, but I was uh, choosing the bottom option by absolute mistake, so we'll try again, we'll just try again, yeah? Odina, okay, so, hypothetically, most people to become the and of course now she's going to tell us so three trials it's just yeah, like becoming a pirate except, except it's not and then choose the second option there I challenge you to the contest of heartiness and the reason we're doing this is because we need to find out we need to unlock the town hall and then find out what type of fish that we need for the challenge again this is going to be random for you so the picture the poster on the right hand side the fish of the day is going to be random for you so just make sure that you uh, keep that one in mind. For me, once again, just like in the first playthrough, it's going to be the slime head. Slime head. Well, if you've got a slimy head, you need to take a shower, pal. Okay. Okay, then. <laughs> right. So, again, um, obviously it says slime head, but if you want to be uh, just double checking, or if you missed it the first time, go up to the poster here and just make sure to Today's choose. There it is. So, for me, once again, it's slime head. For you, it's going to be something else. So what we're going to do now is just go into the C map. So again, press the the, 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 fine, the what was the select button. Go into the C map. Go into Bare Bones Island. Um, I'm not sure if it may be placed randomly on the map or something. But for me, on my first playthrough was on the left. Now it's in the middle. Don't know why. So uh, choose to keep choosing the, the bottom option there just to get out of this one. And then what we're going to do is give Ned the judicial order from Stan. So eventually, there we go. So, nice and bold. Get your ass up. And then, what we can do is take Ned's financial records in order to receive Stan's audited financial records. So, as soon as he throws the briefcase, basically, we're just going to go ahead and pick that up. Open the C-map up once again. Again, only next time do I actually figure out that I can use the select button. And we're going to go to LeChuck's ship. So, head to LeChuck's ship. And now, we're going to go to the upper deck. And we're going to give... 
Well, actually, what we have to do first is see if the coast is clear. And then once it is clear, apparently, then we're going to go up to the upper deck. And we're going to give the endless tale of the voyage that would not end book to Apple Bob in exchange for the demon book joke. So the book that we got earlier from Carla's governor's mansion. Make sure to give that to Apple Bob, Bob Ross, whatever his bloody name is. Right, from here, go to the lower deck. Go into the ship's galley. I don't know where everyone is. They must be taking a nap or something. Go into the ship's galley and take the demon pepper shaker. It kind of looks like pig's nose or something. So make sure to grab that. And now we can just open the sea map once again. And this is where I went. Ah, oh, I can use the select button to go immediately there. So head straight to Melee Island. And now we're going to go to the high shop. Or the high street, sorry. Go into the fish shop. And we are going to buy the type of fish, whatever it is, that is needed for the challenge of heartiness. So again, like I said, for me, it's the slime head. Again, just keep choosing the top option here until we have the ability to uh, buy some fish. Again, for me, it was slime head. For you, it's going to be whatever it is for you. So, slime head, job done. Right, next up after this, we need to go out of here and go to Lockie Smith. So, of course, head left, go into the locksmith, Lockie Smith. And give her the serial number code from Stan Shackles in order to receive the key. Can you make me... Sure. A shackle? You don't even make these... Oh, yeah. So once that's done, we're not quite done what yet. What we're going to do is now talk to Lockie Smith herself. And we're going to basically choose the third option every single time. And this is just about Mrs. Old Smith. And this is how we're going to get the key. So it's got to be the third... Third dialogue option every single time that you pick. And obviously there's no puzzle involved this time. So she's just going to go ahead and give us the key straight away. So top looking out there, Mrs. Lockie Smith. Uh, doesn't matter which one it is, but there we go. Look, happy days. So job done. From here, we can just open up the sea map. And we're going to head all the way back to Carly Muda Island. And now we're going to start smashing up the challenges, actually. So, going into the town centre, go into the town hall, enter the room on the left where the heartiness challenge takes place. Now, if you remember what to do from the first uh, playthrough, of course, then you'll have no problem. So, make sure to put the slime head fish, or whatever fish it is, into the bucket. Old bucket nose, old KFC bucket head. And remember to use some of the demon pepper as well. So, put the, some demon pepper in there. Job done. And now we can chin, uh, chin, now we can turn the triangle on, or thing the triangle, ting, wing, whatever it is. Right, so remember, as soon as the queen picks up the fish, what we're going to do is go into our own inventory and slide a fish onto our plate. So now once she picks it up, go into her inventory, grab the slime head fish, or whatever fish it is, pop it onto the plate, and wait for the <laughs> butthole burn on the left and the disgusting spewing on the right. <laughs> Two bites? Uh, yeah. So, nice and easy, one down, two to go. Right, what we're going to do is now go into the um, top left corner room, the mezzanine. Oh, and apparently there's another cutscene. <laughs> I love these cutscenes in the second speed run playthrough. How many people but what? Well... Luckily, that's only a short one. So, what we're going to do is get the firewood on the, the sort of left-hand side uh, in the chimney shaft fireplace thing. Pop that down, then grab the matches and use that with the firewood as well. And now we can start the fire, ring the triangle, start the challenge. Now remember, if you do, you should remember from last time, as soon as the queen looks at the water dripping, immediately press the X button to swap the papers. But uh, keep your sort of right trigger sort of on the left and right so it keeps up. Press the A button on it. As soon as she looks, then press the X button. Now as soon as she turns away, because uh, I almost messed it up the first, on the first playthrough, um, <laughs> just through time and stuff. But whatever anyway. So you know what to do. We've got that. That'll be two out of three. And now we're going to go ahead and win the final challenge. And of course, this one's very easy since we've got the joke book. So, two out of three. You are onto a Wiener, my son. Head into the back room then, directly behind you. Ting, ring, <laughs> ting, ring, sting the triangle. Start the challenge. 
Remember when the queen tells you her joke, do not choose the ha 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 dialogue option. So do not choose, we're just going to choose the top option to say, is that the best you've got? Yeah, that was a great joke, hilarious. Right, now when it's our turn, open the inventory, get the demon joke book, and give it to the queen. That's obviously going to make her piddle her little panties. And, well, <laughs> that's it. Now, of course, for the next dialogue options, you can pretty much say whatever you want. Again, I just end up choosing the bottom dialogue option to crack on with it. Break the crown, get the key, job done. Where did you get my mug? It is Mr. Guy. We are gathered. Should I? There are some owls. Will you? F I'm not sure. Or even. You must learn. Okay. And will you? Of course. Do you swear? My life? Or limbs? Okay. And will you agree? No problem. Very well. Congratulations. Give me the crown up. I hope you like spinning. <laughs> <laughs> As your queen, I've decided that's why I've... You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now if you'll ex... Three points! Someone saw... I'm more... Just some... Of X! She did have a... No, no! Just... Like where? I don't care! Yes, Captain! Now! Ah, we go, mate. Job done, isn't it? Job done. Right, what we're going to do now is go into the town, the sort of main town centre. We're going to go into the courthouse, which is on the left-hand side, remember? And what we're going to do then is give Stan's audited... Now, for some reason, on the hardcore mode, it, it confused me. What we need to do is give uh, Stan's audited records to the judge. And then all we have to do is choose the specific dialogue option to say that I am Ned Filigree. So make sure to say I'm fed Ned Filigree. I just say the second option, Guybrush, is more of a jovial nickname. And that is what gives us the judicial order for 10 years instead of a month. So now we can just go straight back to the ice quarry and talk to Stan. And it took me a few minutes to do that one because I thought I had to give him some other bit of paperwork, but it didn't, so all good. So give him the order with 10 years on it. And he's going to be like, oh my god, man, my arms, they're killing me. I want to get out of here. So now we can use the shackles key made by Lockie Smith on Stan Shackles there to unlock them. That'll put us straight into Scurvy Island. And for this part, you can literally choose any dialogue option you want. Zebra, I like your promo. We want snip. I'm not sure. Then we won't. Guybrush. Find the sea. Guybrush. That's good. Flying? Great! No one! Not l Now let get cold! Those don't meet- Don't need to! Hmm... Plunder the man- Good! This is your- Show people this! Actually, well- What? Well, now that's just- I'm definitely- Well, you can mail- Your cup! And after they stop arguing then, we're gonna go ahead, take the new scurvy flyer from the table. I'll just... Yeah, that's all good. Open up the sea map and head to Le Chuck's ship. I'll make this quick. And then what we're going to do is just head to the lower deck. And there's going to be a golden key placed on a wooden crate right in front of the stairs. So you cannot miss this one. So make sure to pick the golden key up right there. Go back onto the sea map. Go into the... Uh, and sail to the adrift ship just to the right of it. Um, just choose the bottom option. Basically, every time we speak to the quarantine pirates. And then after we end up speaking to them, what you're going to do is give her... Give them the new scurvy flyer in order to get onto their ship. Have something. Say, have you got your thing? Yours. Check the fly. Where's London? Where? So once that's done, then what you're gonna do is interact with the real Bella fish flag. So we're gonna need to pick that one up. And as soon as we're done, we can combine it with the sea map we got from wall bags earlier on. Uh, so that should be, there's the Bella Fish flag, and the sea map will be on the top 
market was shows the exact location. It should be the same every single time for you. So again, open up the sea map and sail to the X marked on the spot. Sorry, my whole my whole throat started chucking up. Then let chucking up. Yeah. So there are so why is that relax? That's idiot. Are you in? Yes. Now. Nah. Right then, so this time what we're going to do now is lower the anchor and climb it down underwater. So you're going to press the X button by the anchor, and then we're going to press the X button to dive into the ocean. Again, unskippable cutscene, but so good. And of course, you're going to head to the right. The key should be in the same location as well, right on the end of the ship. Hey, doggy, give me that son of a bitch. Give me that goddamn key. Eh. All right, come on, Bygrush. We've got places to be, pal. Come on. Come on. Now, by the way, we are, we are actually coming up quite close now to the end of Chapter 4. So a few more things to do, but getting there. So heading back up, what we're going to do... In fact, you could have just... um. You pretty much could have just opened up the sea map there and just gone straight to Terra Island. You didn't need to do what I'd done just there, but that's all good. Again, it's just a few seconds. It's only a slightly minor inconvenience, isn't it? Yes. So let's try it again then. So open up the sea map, of course. Go to Terra Island, which of course should be just above you. And then we need to go to three of these weird places. So first of all, if we just start heading up onto the map, now we need to head to the unlucky place, which is in the sort of bottom right-hand corner uh, of this sort of map. There it is. So go to unlucky place. Take the silver key there from the skeleton. I bet people get pissed off when you say skeleton. Uh, go to the mystery clearing, which is the top left-hand corner one. Head to the right and take the oil lamp, which should be next to more skeletons. Next, we're going to go to the mystery clearing on the island, which is in the top right-hand corner. Uh, sorry, the twisting path. Sorry. Twist in path and then go all the way around, of course. So Sorry about that. I said mystery clearing twice. No. So when we get to the end here, eventually, luckily we don't have to do the annoying puzzle like we did on hardcore mode. But just go ahead, grab the knife, pry off the sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, use the silver key that we got from the skeleton to unlock the door. Eventually, it's, it's it should be the, the left hand cut should be the second row left one. There we go I got there eventually didn't we so <laughs> once you've opened up the door combine the matches with the oil lamp in our inventory after we get inside Okay, it's lit now go through uh, go all the way to the right of course until the scene changes now this time when we reach the crossroad of three paths All we've got to do is choose the one that does not have an X next to it So there'll be two which have X's next to it choose the one that does not have an X, uh, X next to it and that's how you're going to get through this puzzle very, very quickly. Lovely, lovely. When we've reached, uh, read the sign here when we get to the cliff in the darkness. There's no going down water or anything like that this time. We're just going to end up immediately uh, on the bottom. Uh, so all we're going to do, we are going to press the bottom option when we speak to Gumrot. So just say, I think I'll take a look around. Grab the golden key to the left of his stone bed. And again, during all of this mega dialogue about the golden key, always choose the last dialogue option. If you let me that out, it needs to be it needs just now. Give And after that, we're going to leave Gumrot to Teeth Rot. We are going to um, use go go into inventory, grab the sign, or press the X button to read the glowing sign, as it were, to get out of there. We're going to immediately open up the sea map, and we're automatically going to sail to Melee Island. So coming up, there it is. So we'll do this automatically. Immediately go to the International House of Going Out of Business. That's right. Prepare. What about I'm. Sh I'm a free. Aww, I'm the one. But I do. <laughs> Run! She's almost out of business. Get those offers while you can. 
Okay, when we get here, all you're going to do is put all of the five golden keys into the safe. And then, after a long cutscene and a lot of dialogue, you need to select the dialogue option, a hundred. So that is when you speak to LeChuck just as he's on his way out. I can Looks like this with just you. Not. I don't suppose it'll do me any good. I've un. You should. Good luck opening. Of course not. That would have been it, please. So, outside. Don't eat. So, here we're just going to say 100, and that'll get us. Uh, that's part four done. Now we're going to go through to part five. And for the uh, chat with Elaine, again, just choose, I end up just choosing all the bottom dialogue options again, just to crack on with it. I don't think it makes a difference what you choose, though, so it's all good. Um, so, as you can see, I'm literally just under 120. This next part should only take roughly about 10 minutes to do. So if you're on about 130, 135, even about 1 hour 40, you should still have plenty of time. Uh, it should, th this, again, this next final chapter should only take around 10 minutes or so. So even if you're on about 130 to 140, you should have plenty of time still to get the speedrun achievement. So don't worry if you're on about there just yet. Except true, but well, you'll be- I am happy to- Remind me- It's just what exact- Riches, life ch beyond all- Well. Here we go. Are you ready? Uh, I remember that. Oh, guy. How about I? Well, you go on it. I'll catch up. Right, so when we drop down here, what we're going to do then, we're just going to go all the way to the right until we reach the end of the path. Hi, Wally. Sorry. We we're going to have to leave you to die this time, pal. I, I, I do apologize. You're probably going to be pissed off if there is a, ne a next game, but... It's just what happens, isn't it? So just choose the top option here with old uh, Flamboroni. Oh, butthole burner. And there we go. So, head all the way to the right. Eventually. We're going to get there. And, of course, we're going to jump off. Jump into, quote, unquote, the lava. <laughs> and obviously, we're not going to do that. But we're going to enter the door to the right, of course. We're going to smash out the three easy puzzles that we need. So, first things first. We are going to grab the stone knife on the ground, which should be straight ahead of you. I'm coming on you. For, for you. Ah, see, Threepwood three, three was happy for a moment there. Uh, no, I mean, the Chuck was happy for a moment there. Uh, got the characters mixed up. Right, pick up the stone knife and head through to the right door. What we're going to do, with this should be a stone coin here, so uh, pick up the stone coin. On casual, there's a lot more pebbles and stone coins to grab. Uh, what you're going to do is use the two monocles on this statue. So make sure to do that one. Next up, go to the next room, pick up the stone crackers and another pebble. Again, not sure if the pebbles are random, but anytime you see one, pick one up anyway. We only need three. Uh, but make sure to give the uh, um, the stone knife to this statue. So make sure to pick up the stone crackers, the stone coin, and the stone sword onto the monkey statue. Go into the right, pick up the stone spyglass, pick up the stone coin again, and place the stone crackers this time on the monkey statue. That's going to give us the stone mug in return. And now we can head right and go down the stairs. <gasps> oh, ominous. Look. 
luck check! The secret- I hate- The secret will never be yours! Uh? Right, on to the next puzzle then. Uh, right, you do as long as you've got the three pebbles, you can literally just place two in any one statue, and one in another one. That's it. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. I go into the room on the right here. I've already got three pebbles. So I put two in one. And then go to the room on the right to put one in another. And uh, again, it doesn't matter which which ones it is. That is how you easily complete that puzzle this time. So again, that sheds a few seconds. You can't beat it. Job done. All right. So go down back through the next room. And it's the whole stabby, stabby, stab, stab this time. So stab, what we're obviously going to do then is stab the uh, stab the statue with our knife. Then you will. And you. You will. No. Third time. So, as I was saying, go into the room on our right. Next time. Yeah, shut up, Bygrush. So, stab the monkey. Again, with your real knife, that's fine. There you go, stabby, stabby. Sorry about that, mate. Bleeding blue liquid. Go into the right-hand side, stab this monkey statue. And then, of course, grab the stone mug that we got. You should have this uh, stone mug, so use that to fill the mug as well. After that's done, go to the right, use the stone mug full of blue liquid, pop it on the drain right in front of you. That is going to open up the next door. Right. Now, this, again, I'm not sure if reading the stone slab is going to be completely random for you again, but I'll tell you exactly what you need to look out for. So as we head down the stairs again... So on the stone slab, what you need to look out for is the um, headwear that he uses, the teeth or the smile, and then the year as well. So I'll tell you exactly where it is. So Havana, so for me it's the second one where he says bandana. The next one, his hickory teeth. That's, that may be random for you. And 1650 is for me. So I've got bandana, hickory teeth, and 1650. Again, may be different for you, but that's how you solve the puzzle. So of course, the outer ring, I'm going to keep going until I see bandana. There it is. Hickory Teeth, which is going to... It's not this one, but, um, you know, I'll show you which one it is. And the year is going to be 1650. So just keep going until you've hit that one. Again, it obviously would have been easier if it was all the same, but since it's not... So if you manage to get the teeth wrong or whatever, um, just keep going until the correct one appears. So there you go, Hickory Teeth. Um, that, that could have been any of them, to be honest. But that's the end of that. That's how we solved that puzzle a lot quicker than it was in Hardcore Mode. Head out. There is Big Stan. And of course, the whole confusion and us being trolled for three games straight is hilarious. This time then, of course, what we're going to do is uh, get Stan's key out and just turn off all of the lights. There should be four lights to turn off. And when you've unlocked that last one then, what you need to do is just go to Elaine, straight to Elaine, and say, I'm ready to go. Or Gilbert. I'm ready to go, and that is the end of the game. Now, you do have to do the last bit of cutscene, but the achievement should unlock in the credits. Dad, that was a silly ending, and it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different. You're the one who- You said that- I did? I wanna- You have to- There isn't- It's not- It changed everyone you- Mom! Are you feeling- I was telling- <laughs> Let's go down to the- Yeah! I found- It's going to- I'll meet you down.
So then, providing you have done it fast enough, which hopefully following this guide you have, the achievement should unlock here. Ah, oh, beautiful, look at that. Ah, oh, 0.25%. Get in there, son. But there we go, that will be the end cutscene, uh, the, the end cutscene. That is the speedrun achievement done. So now you should have a thousand out of a thousand. I'm telling you a quick story. Um, so I almost got all of the trivia cards. I tried to sort of delete my save because I couldn't find the final one at all. Accidentally deleted from everywhere. And now I have to basically go through the entire game again, collecting all the trivia cards. So that's a piss take, but there we go. Um, I'll cry about that myself, but there we go then guys and gals, that should be your 1000 out of 1000, so thank you so, so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the whole game, I hope both parts and all of the guide helped as well, if it did of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well, a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, absolute legends, and again, thank you so, so much, love you guys, I will see you in the next Game Pass game then, big love.